All right, so when I left off yesterday, I was doing the hard uh, Mortania diary right here in order to farm uh, barrows and get extra uh, runes every single time I farm. That's what I was up to last time I was playing this. And that's what we're doing now. Hello, poison. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ah, ah. That was odd. That shouldn't have happened. I'm going to go over here and then we're done with it. There was two things that I had to do really, uh, I had to wait on. Then we have to go back to Canifus afterwards. La Sabra. Um, New York City smells awful. It is awful. It's, it's piss and um, uh, subway steam. Is the best way to describe New York City. It is the opposite of a windy city. Sig. Sinjniai. I'll add you, but I barely talk to people. I already have you. We're already friends. Um, Philly's the same deal. Piss and and, and uh, bus bus exhaust. Really bad. Get my hands on bribes like that. That's what I'm saying. I would be the ultimate bribe taker if I had if I had um any sort of power, you know. The mushrooms are worth a little bit. Um vaporized piss. Yep. Subway steam is awful. It's awful. It's like exhaust. I purposely avoid the grates when I'm walking in New York City. Um, just because it smells terrible. Either way, what struck me about London is it doesn't smell as bad as New York City. London is the other mega city of the world. There's like, eh, most of them are in China right now, but there's there's a New York City and London still hold strong as Alpha Plus Plus cities. And... Um, the, the difference is insane. Insane. First off, driving in London, 10 times harder than driving in New York City somehow. I'm definitely talking about 10K bribe, yep. I'll take any type of bribe, really. I take bribes to, to play different video games and shit like that. Um, I've always wanted to be in a big Twitch competition and then get bribed to, uh, to throw it by the opposing team. I'd love that. Uh... What? I have to do the medium test before you give me this? You piece of shit. I never did Mauritania medium. Uh, annoying. Annoying. Ugh. I didn't know that was a thing. I was finally done. Scamscape. Scape loves to hit you with shit like that. I mean, most American cities were designed around driving. You ever played KSP, Kerbal Space Program? I'm terrible at it. That is a pure Duncan game. I watch him play it. It just confuses the fuck out of me. Um, I am not what you call a smart person. So if I try to... Uh, Learn something complicated like that, I'm going to get very frustrated and then give up because I'm not a math or any of that. Uh, what do I have to do here? Swamp Lizard, Port Phantasmus, uh, Mauritania. And then you go to Mostly Harmless. And that's it. Okay. Not so bad. So let us do... We need Restore Potion. No, uh, uh, Dwarf Fortress isn't very complex. Dwarf, a lot of those games are like, once you learn the menus, once you learn the gist of it, you're, it's, it's easy. Have you ever played... Yeah, I hate that you can't just skip diaries. Not a rocket scientist. Juno, New Origins. Um, I don't know. It's... it's uh, Oops. It's easier for me to wrap my head around. 
shit like Dwarf Fortress, management games. I call those storytelling games. I'm probably I'm pretty sure that's like a common thing to call it. Um, games that create a story. Need a silver bar. And a lot of those games are literally just just learn the menu. That's it. Terra Invicta is very complex. Yep. Um, is it accessible? That was I was talking to Potato about that. Potato made a whole bunch of Terra Invicta game uh, uh, playthroughs, and he regretted it wholeheartedly because it is just oops. Um, it is just unbelievably tedious. You're constantly getting hit with. Uh, put all this away. You're constantly getting hit with uh, uh, pop-ups and shit like that, and and there's always something to do. And I don't know about it. Um, way too ambitious of a game. Hello, CeeLo. Too big of a scope. It happens. They try to put everything that they think that somebody wants in a game, and then before you know it, the game is too dense. Too hard to get through for the average person. Definitely for me. I'm not a uh, the greatest at games that require immense, immense clicking everywhere. Not the greatest, or I just don't want to play it. Like, um... Catch a Swamp Blizzard. Where's a Swamp Blizzard at? Whenever I play... CK3, I really hate clicking so much. I'm feeling a lot better today, CeeLo. I chugged some NyQuil and went to bed last night. And kind of alright today. Um, woke up today at 12. I woke up today at 10, and then I did that thing where you, like, don't get out of bed. And you just constantly are stretching in bed and falling back asleep. And then before I knew it was 12.30. Um, hello, Poison Kana. Ain't no Glorp Gamer. The worst is definitely... I mean, not the worst, but CK3 is so bad with constant clicking. You think that you're you're all set up and then you have to marry off 8 million fucking airs and shit like that. It's just... It's stuff that could easily be solved by a mod or just an option in the game. You know? That's. I think that's my major complaint with CK3. CK3 is just, is, is so much unnecessary clicking. And plus the war system isn't that great either. There needs to be, and I said this before, CK3, there need, instead of, um, oh, sorry, it's an RPG. Instead of, uh, uh, war, they should really have something like influence wars, I guess. You don't manually fight the other nation. You should, like, have events or pop-ups that influence the war based on how good your your current country is. Just like everything else in that game. It's like this really weird constant pop-up game surrounded with a, a, almost like an RTS, not even. I don't know how to put it. War just seems like a sore thumb in that game. It seems like a different game when you're playing it. And then on top of it, it it's just not fun. You pop up a thousand troops when your opponent has like 600, you go wipe them out and you take their fucking city and that's done. Or you fight someone, you each got like a thousand, he's got like 800, he sells them away from you and attacks your capital every time you move forward. So you have to go backwards and crush that army like five or six times before you're ready to go. It's uh, something that could be better, I think. But it's, it's too late to change it, because people like that war. Mm -hmm. Influence wars like that. But I was thinking more of like the lines of... Um, I have to go to the Ectofunctus. Um, it's more along the lines of like... Uh, let's say England and France go to war in CK3. The English king has a lot of vassals behind him. The French king doesn't. Instead of an overworld fight with blobs of soldiers, it would be a series of pop-ups throughout the war that would have, like, 
more odds weighted towards the English side because more people are are for the English on that side or something, you know. Ectofuntis, you're right. Ectofuntis. I always call it ectofunctus. Wait, how do I make this again? And that ectofuntus bone grinder. That's so weird. Ecto that's like uh that's like uh what do you call it? A um Mandela effect. Lots of people had to see. Existential crisis duck? No, I haven't heard of that. But I get that a lot. Existence is a confusing thing. Sold my watermelons. People constantly try to figure out the meaning of it. Empty your inventory, unequip any helmets. Boom. And then Trouble Brewing is over there. But there's a bank over there, too. Hello, Galactic. It is a nightlight of a duck having existential crisis. Hello, Julbano. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? What happens after death? These are all scary things. I'll release that swamp lizard. The uh, the common thread with existentialism and life after death and religion, all those things, is people are really afraid of the unknown. If we don't have an example, uh, uh, yeah. what up, this Ricardo? Existential duck. Oh, I had this in the background. Existential duck lamp. Uh, oh, he just lies on his side. <laughs> Oh, that's so fucked up. Um, I have a feeling everyone's everyone, no matter how smart or how dumb or how worldly or how whatever, it goes probably goes through that. Thank you, Misonist. Thank you, sir. We gotta get a hundred more subs to hit the goal. It's tough. It's five hundred dollars. Um, his elaborate goes away. That's so good. It is a. Uh, Vast fear of the unknown, I totally understand it. It's not easy to not know, especially if you spend your whole life knowing. Um, all I can say is, when when you don't know it and no one can prove it, why do you care? That's always been my opinion. Oh, I have to go to the World 304. There we go. I've never done tr trouble brewing. I'm gonna switch to 304. What do you, why do you mean? Why are you asking me? Um, there. Wait, was that it? Hey. Next game in 14 minutes? Does anyone even play this fucking game anymore? What? No one understands it. Thirty. Minutes is the next game. Oh, it's only for the diary. That's the only thing I have to do this for. It's my last step on this diary. No one understands it. Um, yeah, that's life. That's existential crisis. There are two thirds of a teaspoon. Has anyone used one third, two thirds as teaspoon measurement? No, never, never. I know bread is a little bit more precise and shit like that. All that baking is, but um, uh. I think you can get away with it. I, whenever I see a step like that, I always wonder if people can tell the difference between two thirds and one third of a teaspoon or a full teaspoon. You can find a one third teaspoon. Come on, fucking Mario, you all. My camera and my green screen setup 
leads to me fucking with it like a hundred percent of the time. Every single, every single, uh, R. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do here. This is clearly a bot. It's also for adding yeast. Uh, the fuck is this? I think you chopped some trees. I don't. Ex I don't want to play this. I just want to. Uh, <laughs> I just want the step. I guess I just wait here for seven minutes. I'm confused. Um, I have a feeling these people are waiting up here too, unless they're all bots. Are these all bots? Go we'll play and you will enjoy it. I, I, I have no idea how to play this. I have no interest in learning this either. What? Green logged in 26 days? Okay, whatever. Um, I'm a bot now. We'll play and you enjoy. I'll come and join. I mean, you can. I'm not doing anything in this. I'm just waiting for it to be done. What is everyone's favorite movie? Um, <clears throat> Bruce some rum. No! Ugh. I had a very odd nightmare about the cold. Very odd nightmare. It was one of those night those frustration nightmares. I called it tedious and boring all the time, all at once. Um, no, it wasn't like that. It was what you ever have one of those frustration nightmares where you're trying to do something and you can't do it. A lot of times it's like, um, uh, uh, it wasn't just you, the cold. Jewel Bano was there too. Um, uh, you're trying to, like, I get a lot with, they call it uh, weeds nightmares when you're uh, a server and you get a nightmare that you're stuck in the weeds and everything that you're doing isn't working and uh, you just keep getting sat with more tables and you're getting more frustrated, and then you wake up, and you're all in a bad mood and shit like that. There's something you didn't even do. It was just, you know. Um, I was trying to uh, to talk to Jewel Bano in the cold and chat, and I couldn't get them to talk back. That was the nightmare. That was it. That was the whole thing. A Danish nightmare, yeah. It wasn't very expansive. Oh, yeah, it was Jewel Bano. The most of Danes, yeah. Fuck this camera! It's always out of focus! I don't really have nightmares like that. Like, I don't have nightmare nightmares. I have frustration nightmares. Like, um... Uh... Yeah! We did it! Wait. Pause it. Did I get something for that? We'll check it out. Great talking to you, Waluigi, Dad. Um, Niles he always makes me ask people what their favorite movie is at the final table. Thank you, Ekid! I'll cover 25 people. Enjoy. Thank penis. you, sir! Penis! I do enjoy penis. The If you uh, want minimum wage, there's a museum where you can rotate a wheel and get paid in coins and turn the wheel a sir. Yeah, I saw that. It's like you get pennies fed out to you. Um, which is really awful. Awful way to, to conceptualize minimum wage. You know, they really hit the nail on the head with that art piece. Um, 
a daymare. I have a lot of nightmares of just like frustrating things. I very rarely have a scary nightmare. I have nightmares where like my family hates me or I'm in a fight with my sister. Yes, I want my reward. Ooh, I get a little antique lamp for that. I want my reward for this too. Give me it. Thank you. Bye. Now we can farm barrows. Like that. And like that. Lots of rune crafting experience, all in a little shot. Um, penis is lovely. There's been a lot of uh, hard anti circumcision things in. Uh, uh, Protests and stuff popping up over Reddit right now. Any nightmares where you're ousted for being... No, I really don't have that. I don't really get a nightmares like that. My nightmares are almost always my family hates me, or I'm arguing with my mom or my sister, or... Um... can't even think of what else. I have a hotel nightmare where I'm in a really long hotel. Like the... the uh... Thank you, Tibbet! Nightmares where my dogs die, or they're in a lot of trouble. I had one bad nightmare right when I first got my third dog, uh, when all three of them were together, and it was about nuclear war happening, and I had to take care of the dogs during it, and that was tough. Um, the camera's off because this camera fucking is great and sucks at the same time. It's a great 1080p HD camera, and it puts me out of focus like 30 times a stream, it feels like. Hello, Signai. Can you dig it? Look at them. Combat level 101. Find a better driver lets you edit the focus. I could do that. That sounds tough, though. Um, what's my... It's been so long since I've done Barrows. I completely forgot my setup for it that I usually do. Um, I know I take this. This. Uh, did I set up in a, in a range fighting thing? Or did I set up as a magic caster? I believe I was a magic caster. You know, with the Daltos face and focus. Yeah, I was a mage, right? I had the Trine in the Seas. I did the Occult Necklace. The Seer's Ring. But I would also do something else. I think I would set up in the Saradome and Dehyde stuff. The Blessed Dehyde. I remember that. And then, yeah, magic short bow. And what arrows did I use for this? I think I used these. No, those are adamant bolts. I had like a whole stack rune arrows. There we go. I remember that. What else would I set up with? I think I would have the Ava's accumulator. I'm pretty sure. I think I would also have the Helm of Neats and Knot. And I'm supposed to put the face guard on that. I never did. The sound insulation. There's no sound insulation up there. Need to kill Aram. I'm just trying to remember how I set up for this. Um, Barrow's gloves. I remember that. And then... Here for killing skeletons down below. But I'm not sure if I actually care about that or not. I do have a tiled ceiling. Finally fucking home. You never seen the inside of a home apartment before. You live outside. Was it Mage Melee? Aaron was to shoot the bow at at uh what's his face? At Aram. It's been so long. Uh Barrows Brothers Aerosaurus. Yep. Bargain basement ceiling tiles. Oh, you haven't seen that? Well, you haven't been in a poor person's apartment then. Um, Barrow's mini game. What are they suggesting here? There's a strategy. There we go. Strategy guide. I had a real good setup that I would just pop them and move on. It'd be real easy. They're saying all magic. Berserker ring, which I never bought. I could just go buy that right now. I 
They have blowpipe here too. Uh, ranging potion, super combats. I don't really care about that. Slumlord! I could dragon dagger spec him. That's right. Does that? Uh, that's like not like a guaranteed kill though. Using the dragon thing, I think the arrows are better. Pulling out old offices these days. Great for kiting out Section 8 and fix and flips. Great. Great. I live in a Section 8 fix and flip. Um, Tombs of Amiskit. Blessed Boots. Berserker Ring not available. And they just say set up like this. I think this is the best for me. I think we can roll with this. Um... I need to go get the Needs to Not Face Guard. I've never done that. Hello, Gamp. Needs, uh, needs to Not Face Guard. Yeah, I am bringing a whip. That's for killing things. Killing things with melee. Actually, hmm. I could just cast on the, uh, the skeletons instead. Actually, you're right. Uh, Basilisk Jaw. Can I just buy that? Olaf the Bard is in the Fremenic area, right? Do I have a Basilisk Jaw? No. Can I buy it? Basilisk. It's 17 mil?! The webcam pissed me off so I dropped it. What up, Ned Coates? You're fucking me. Good old Fremenix. Yes, thank you, Nicole. You kind of need a ceiling cat for the ceiling cam. Could I put a ceiling cat up there? Oh, like it's poking its head through? Like the classic meme? Yeah, web camera completely pissed me off. Oh, I just I just deposited my entire God damn it, go streamer, go. On the cheese. Um let me fuck that up. Needs not face guard, magic short bow, boom boom boom. Like that. Um this. Uh you What am I forgetting here? Ava's. I don't even really need Ava's. Could use like any cloak there, right? Ceiling cat watches you masturbate. What? Let's see this for extra magic bonus. Streamer bearing barely works. Barely. Just like a streamer. Uh Let's equip up and then see what I'm missing here. Oh, I forgot the, uh, what do you call it? Deposit that. Trident in the Seas. And then I always forget what I cast with with Trident in the Seas. Oh, I have to change this. Shit. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This looks good for right now. Something like this. And then, what's the spells that I cast with Trident? I can't remember. Thank you for giving me minimum wage G-Tech. And then having other people donate lots of money. <laughs> Damn it, Ekid in the cold. Um, what would it be like if I streamed on, on YouTube? I have to ask Nilesy about that, how it went for him. So I complain about being given money is a good point. Very good point. I am a uh, gift horse looker in the mouther. If I can find a gift horse, I'm looking right at it. Use up my bits, that's fine. I think it's a hundred bits to say something in, in this chat, but 
Ooh, I like this house setup. All wood. Look how big this house is. Big house. You're looking right at my nose. Good luck finding boogers up there. Now, should I use... No, I don't have to use ancient magics. I could just use... Uh... Fuck, what's trying to seize charged with again? Six hundred seventy-four charges. Dumb, dumb. What's the China Seas charge with? Completely forgot. I need more of those. I think it's death runes. I'm pretty sure. Have to see around my camera. Trident of the sea. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. Trident of the seas. Uh, it needs to be charged with death runes, cast runes, fire runes, and coins. That's what it is. Death, chaos, fire coins. Okie dokie. And then we just use that on the, oop, we drop our trident, and we use that on them, uh, 1820, and now we're supercharged up, we used up all of our chaos rooms, which is probably not a good idea, but I have to buy more, anyways, so whatever. Alright, so we got our trident, give me back my trident. And then we also need our old lock pick, but I'm not sure how many charges are left on that. I might have to buy another one of these. 19 charges left? Yeah, I accidentally hit 9 for this one. Um, now it's in HD and perfectly focused. I think it learned its lesson. Yeah, it learned its lesson. Um, I think we're ready to move out now. This looks like a good enough setup. Oh, and a spade. Always forget the spade. So I've had to reinstall my computer a few times. And that means reinstalling Runelight, which means I don't have my awesome Barrows tracker that showed like 10 mil and 30 kills. 50 kills, 80 kills, I don't know how many kills, a lot of kills. Yep, and then it worked. That's how electronics work. Thank you, take this. Here's around one trillion Zimbabwean dollars. Way above the minimum pay. Yep. For Zimbabwe. Um What was I gonna say? A lot of uh I'm not against this in any way, shape, or form. If you, it makes sense this way. Don't circumcise your kids, right? I'm circumcised. I don't really give a fuck. But uh, uh, hang on, set up quick prayers. But uh, fucking Reddit is like on the war path with that right now. It's every other fucking post. It feels like I'm missing out. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't expect that to be the thing that people were up in arms against this year. And when I think about it, it is a fucked up thing. You're getting part of your penis cut off when you're a baby and you got no say in that, right? Um, this Nicole, feels thank like you. throwing money at a stripper that rants a lot. Yes, pretty much. Pretty much. I didn't dress in girls' clothes today, but it, that is pretty much the thing. Um, I always target the wrong Aram. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, religious roots. Cringe at the red pants protest. Keeps our boys intact. I'm not really sure if I cringe at the red pants protest. I mean, it, it, it is what's happening, you know? It's like, it's general mutilation. But I'm not mad about it. That's the weird thing, because it was done to me. And I'm not like, I don't feel like I'm I'm missing out on anything. 
and I don't, I've never had a complaint about it. I totally recognize and understand why people don't like it, and it's a bad thing. I don't know. Out of all the general mutilations, it's one of the lower-ended ones. <laughs> so we fucking... <laughs> Definitely missing out. The check and the... I, I get plenty of stimulation down there. I don't know, man. I just didn't expect it as a thing that uh, Reddit was going to rail against this year. That's so bad turns. Slice tick American. Penis though, imagine more. Monkey S. I don't need more. It works. Like, it's great. You know what really fucks up the uh, worst genital mutilation is... Uh... Oh, this is the range one. I always forget that. Um is Lexapro. That's ten times worse than fucking being circumcised. You don't feel anything down there. I should pretend to be mad at my mom for it. Next time I see her. Start a fight over it for no good reason. On your dick. But it's just catching up. It was uh, apparently the Kellogg's guy pushed for it really hard. He wanted the, uh, uh, it was like a puritanical thing, I guess. I don't know. I wonder what influenced her to do that. Because we're not Jewish, you know. I guess it was just like the rage at the time. Really hate sex and masturbation. He made graham crackers, I think. Or he made uh, cornflakes in order to, some other guy did that. I don't know. That's an also weird thing to rail against. The Kellogg's guy just out of nowhere, just really mad at masturbation. How did no one else at the time be like, that's a, why you care? It's a lot. Odd... <laughs> my nightmares are falling. My family and adults is going to pick a fight with my mom. <laughs> They're like bad nightmares. They're not, you ever have one of those nightmares where nothing you say is correct and everyone hates you? You know? No matter what you do, you're the bad guy in the nightmare. Those suck, man. Yeah, I'm fearless. Alright, so I gotta kill... I think it's three skeletons. I'm pretty sure. I remember getting really mad at Barrows because these fucking worms always attack me instead of the skeletons. Um, small kid's dick fashion at the time. Uh, people think their kid will look weird if they don't circumcise them. No sex or size, undesirables eat the cereal, curb your... Oh, that's what made sense. Yeah, because they don't want the undesirables to, to have sex. That makes a lot more sense when it's phrased like that. Oh, these fucking rats always attack me. I don't want to fight the rats. I want to fight the skillet buns. Um, it's just complicit. A friend who's non-religious that has some circumcised because he thought he wants to. Part of the whole eugenics and teetiller movement. Sound of my real life. Eugenics was... Uh, I've, I've, I've showed you all my Nazi book before. Um, that, that sounds worse than it is. Uh... You're right, that is a uh, uh, attempt to have the less desirables either not have sex or uh, not have it a lot. Um, girls have always liked the way my penis looks. It's, it's odd to say, but I, I, it, I mean, like, you tell your girlfriend that she's got nice titties, right? Goes back and forth. So I've never really complained about it. I just never thought about it until Reddit brought it up. And then when Reddit brought it up, my, the first thought that went through my head was, yeah, they're right. And then the second thought that went through my head was like, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how to put it. It was just more like, yeah, they're right. They, they have a great point. But it doesn't haunt me. Like, no, I, I care about, like, future kids. Now, like, yeah, don't circumcise your kids anymore. But when it happened to me, I was just like, I never even really considered it. Nice Audi. She has a nice vagina. Nah, vaginas are kind of like... Um, they're all 
almost all look the same. It's hard to have a standout vagina. Right? Someone can have a... And even penises kind of all look the same. If you... If you uh, I mean, I know they don't. It's, it's said kind of. I'm, I'm talking standout. Where it's like... That is... It's, it's not like... You ever see a perfect pair of boobs? Perfect boobs? Those are standouts. You talk about those. Right? It's very hard to find a perfect vagina, perfect penis. Perfect ass, perfect boobs. Those things are exist. There's this one girl on TikTok. She's got the... I think she has the most played TikTok video now. She took out uh, Bella Porch on that. Because uh, her tits are perfect. It's just like this this one video. Her friend runs up to her and fake stabs her with a broom. And she like dodges it. And then she moves backwards. And her tits are pointed up. It's like the most viewed video on, on um, TikTok now. Because it's like... The perfect pair of boobs that anyone's ever seen ever. That never happens with vagina penis ever. What up, Ice Spice? You'll never see a video get millions of views because it's perfect vagina or perfect penis. Is all I'm saying. That's bullshit. Perfect boobs. I have to show them to you. You would agree with me if you saw the TikTok. You'd go, yeah, that deserves. You've seen my videos then. <laughs> um, God, how do I even Google that to show you guys? I'm going to Google it in another screen. With incognito mode on. Even though that my ISP can still see this, I'm just embarrassed about perfect boobs, TikTok, girl... Nope, not her. It's going to be so hard to find this girl. I could just Google most viewed TikTok. Whatever, I'll find it later. Boobs must have been dethroned already. I'm just saying that's the power of good boobs. It's it's way different than uh, the power of a big dick. Well, I guess maybe a big dick TikTok would, would get some views. That'd be a really big dick. Like fucking, like, Jesus big dick, you know? Is it banging ass? There's no OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans. I can find it on my TikTok. <laughs> Found it. Okay, hang on. Give me a second. This is now, I think, the most viewed on TikTok. Oh, right, now I can't find her fucking TikTok where it was. How do you sort this by most viewed? Ay, ay, ay. Being the most viewed on TikTok, by the way, is like a crowning achievement. You are gonna get like millions of dollars here we go 63 it says 63.74 million views sixty seven point three million views and you mean to tell me that vaginas can be perfect like boobs yeah you're fucking mine Out of your fucking mind if you try to argue that. They're perfect? Perfect yeah, perfect is subjective. That is true. 
But you guys have to understand, yeah, she's like 20 or something like she She's a young girl. She's, she's young. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is that it's the most viewed video on TikTok now. Um, the other point in addition to that is that while some things are subjective, there are things that are mass consumed, right? Like if you have, uh, you could say that the Kardashians suck, but they, they still are mass consumed. There's still a lot of people watch them and stuff like that. You could say um, League of Legends is a terrible game, but everyone plays it, right? Your subjective is a kaleidoscope of subjective, just some shards are bigger than others. And I think that the vast populace can, prefers boobs and ass over penis vagina. And in some ways that makes sense, because like as a as a society, like Western society, definitely we we I'm not even gonna say other sites because I don't know about them. Uh, we don't really show them off. There's no vagina window down there. Guys get embarrassed over their bulge too. You show me a single guy that doesn't get at least a little bit self-aware over um, gym short bulge or uh, sweatpants bulge because it sticks out, you know? Dollars me. Vagina window. But one day we might. And then as a society, we'll value that more. Until then, let that thing hang. Boobs and ass are what draws people. And even so, even if I saw people's dicks and vaginas all day, I still don't think I would be. I mean, that's because I was raised that way. I was raised in a society that values boobs and ass. I bet if I was raised in a society that valued dick and vagina, I would see perfect vaginas and perfect penises. Got to start with a Mons window and work down. Mons window? Oh, the, yeah. The mound. I always think of Mons Goblin Raiders. From, uh... The Gathering Dark card set. Um, oh yeah, I could kill a Bloodworm with two skeletons. That's fine. Um, we were playing Rootscape. Swing your bulge. Unfortunately, I learned anatomy from a amazing teacher that drilled in anatomy into our heads and made us take really, really hard, long exams on these blue books. And my hand would be like this afterwards. Because I'd write like 40 pages of blue book. A blue book page is only like this big. But still. Um, and that meant I crammed for all of his tests and then immediately forgot it. Well, I didn't actually actually retain a lot of information from anatomy. Which is bad because whenever I watch Jeopardy with my mom and an anatomy question comes on, she always looks at me and expects me to answer it. She's also very good at medical stuff. So that's a problem. There is a common, I tell my sisters all the time, there's a common thread on my mom's side of the family where we all believe we know everything and we're never wrong. And on top of it, we always have an opinion over someone's fucking health. That was a 4K run. That was awful. That was awful. It's like the worst possible drop you could get there. Um, God damn. Here be shower. Awful. That might be my lowest gained. Look at the first one. First one 67k, second one 4k. That might be my lowest gained barrows ever. We're ready for pup quizzing. Hello, Okram. Uh anything is oh great. Yeah, great. It went out of focus again. Great. Yeah, of course it did. Um, we should have like a Daltos pub quiz where I quiz you guys on all different things Daltos related. My lowest gay barrels. Yep. Um, 
the kitten let me on. God, kitten is one of those words that's ruined for me because of Discord mods. It's like daddy. Daddy's ruined for me after my one girlfriend. I cringe whenever I hear my niece is called my my uh, brother-in-law's daddy. Fucking weirdos. Um, no, I know it's just a war, but it was ruined for me. Kitten was ruined for me because uh, Discord mods who groom girls always call them kittens and shit like that. Your Discord kitten. Hey, kitten. I see everyone else logged off. Haha. <laughs> Now we can have a real conversation. Can you send me a pic? Ugh. Ben had a really good webcam trick to get himself a focus. I do it putting your finger in front of the lens and slowly moving your finger back to your face. Yeah, bullshit. It loses focus like right there. You see that? Isn't that weird? Seems like worth a try. Um, brother to the police. No, my brother wanted that. Nah, shut up. Um, don't ruin the word for us. Sunday is an instant snuggle bug kitten. <laughs> Sunday was ruined for me because whenever I look at that, I think of disgusting organ meat from the Korean cooking videos. Um, it's worth a try. So I told you mature eh. uh plus your fingers bigger than your head. Shut up. Um Make some monocle prescribed, yeah. Try with my butthole, yeah. Try with my my circumcised penis. Oh, this is Gothics. My bad. My bad, Gothics, I'll kill you with the regular or goofin. Um like that. This is what I always do with the hands. And then it loses... You know what it is? It could be the light right there making me lose focus. The light peeking through. That could be it. Um, I'd be surprised. Yog know, Wookie now. Circumcised. Uh, finger butthole. Which uh, which name was most prominent on my whiteboard before I got rid of it? That's the first Daltos trivia question. Which chatter's name was most prominent on the whiteboard before I got rid of it? Nope. KQ minus 800 points. Okram. Okram gets it right. He said Okram 2K. I did have a whiteboard. That's another good answer. Very good answers, everybody. Oh, not, this is the perfect. When you get Varric as the last one, I love it. Because you do all the barrows in order. And you go down. Um, getting fucked up by this guy. I have died in barrows before. It's embarrassing. The Daltos lore. Christmas tree is down. Yep, I never put it up. Your name was on the hot sauces. That's a good one. It'd be hard to guess. If anyone can guess the two, the three sauces that are on the left side of my my desk right now. Well, Sweet Baby Ray's is obvious, but what flavor? By the way, Sweet Baby Ray's is alright. It's not the most amazing barbecue sauce in the world, but it's the most amazing for the price point. You can get a bottle of Sweet Baby Race for two bucks when it's on sale, and that shit is great for two dollars. I've drilled one hole, Cygnus. I have Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's Secret Sauce, and Honey Mustard. That's my current sauces on the side of my desk. Open the nor. 15 charges remaining. 
I really got to get my agility up so I can go deeper into the hollow sepulcher. Oh, that's such... Get the fuck off me, rat. Asshole rat. I hit that skeleton twice. Twice! I should refrigerate. It never goes bad. It's vinegar based. I don't know. It's disgusting. Um, oh no, and Varric popped out early. We can still farm after. Hello, BL. That is audible. It's like honey. Honey never goes bad. Honey mustard. It's in the name. Um, jars. Kill that skeleton. Please hit that skeleton. There we go. Good. There's a weird mechanic in Barrows where you're not supposed to go too far above your potential or else your reward gets worse. I, I don't understand it, but it, it is a thing. 44k there. Not bad. I'll take it. Why are the rat sperm cells? <laughs> I always love that sperm isn't the fat. When you get uh, pregnant, it's not the uh, fastest sperm that wins. I always love that. That's the favorite thing about humanity. We have to go get more food. I have a convoluted banking system. Yeah, it's the sticky ones. It's the ones that hit and remain. Get free drinks, chips, and Pop-Tarts in lounge. So I have a backpack full of Pop-Tarts. Amazing. One of my favorite things to do, and I think it was instilled by my mom, is to get as many little freebie things as I can. <laughs> and then uh, save them. Let's get a few more in here. I'll lengthen the trip a little bit. I had explained to my nieces why there was a whole bunch of slippers underneath my mom's bathroom cabinet with hotel prints on them. It's like, well, Nana likes to steal things from hotels. Darn. I do too. It's a great thing. I love it. What I need to get back on doing is stealing extra sauce packets from restaurants. That's a very mom thing to do. Or wife even. Not even mom. The best wives in the world. The best ones in the world. And if you're ever, and if you want to be the best husband in the world too, I guess, if your wife is really into it or your husband's into it. Um, a, a menagerie of sauce packets from different restaurants in the fridge. Duck sauce, honey mustards, ranches, barbecue, all little packets that you stole over the years from different restaurants when it was grab your own condiments. Those are great. You always have something to dip into. And that's a beautiful thing about relationships. <laughs> that's a double entendre. Uh, um, save money on paper towels by getting extra napkins to the restaurant. That's great, too. Actually, piss me off. Stop stealing shit. We have sauces you klepto hoarder to teach their own. I'm telling you. Now, you never steal from a mom and pop. Don't go to a mom and pop store and grab their ketchups or their, their mustards or their salt and pepper shakers, which is a big thing for um, that we ran into when I was a waiter, that people were stealing salt and pepper shakers all the time. Um, uh, get better sauces at home. No, it's not about having a better sauce. It's about having uh, the convenience to grab the sauce. Bumpy rides. Welcome to or something. Uh, <laughs> I always tell people in order to fill dead air, just say the first thing that come to your head. Um, oops, I'm still on. I always forget to switch back from ranged. 
Um, never steal from Omaha Pops. Only steal from chain restaurants. Only steal from chain restaurants. They can replace it. Unless they're a franchisee. Then that's kind of mean. But if you're in like Times Square and you go to the Sabaros. Or I guess the Chili's would be in Times Square. Go right ahead. Only steal from me. Don't steal from me. I got stolen from a few times when I was a kid. I was mugged with my friends, but then we also had ones where like someone took my wallet when I was in school. I must admit I've walked out of one or two restaurants with the plates. And two or three pint glasses from the pub. That's a big thing, and I would do that for bigger tips, and I'm not sure if I feel good or bad about it, but if someone really wanted a glass for my restaurant and I hated my old restaurant, not the one I, the latest one I worked at, but the one when I was in like early 20-something, I'd just be like, take the glass, and then it would always give me a big tip. Um, uh, I was in line at... Uh, at the cafeteria when I was like in sixth grade and someone pickpocketed me and took my wallet. Remember that. And then uh, my Game Boy Advance was stolen out of my locker. Someone popped my locker and, and took it. Um, and that's about it. You actually avoid arm mugging. That's why I avoid it is just give him everything. If you're a guy. Total different ball game if you're a girl. Muggings are way scarier. A Game Boy on me growing up. Open the door. Sold my wallet once when I was a teenager. I lived in a very small town. Did not take long to find that guy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not a very big thief. I don't like stealing things. There's something about it. It's morally wrong. But I would aid in a bet stealing. I'm one of those people, if I see someone uh, stealing from Walmart or something like that, I ain't fucking stopping them. I'm not going to get... I right, have more power to you. Grab as much Walmart shit as you can. Keep moving. Um... If you're a girl, just flash and they'll be struck. No, that's the worst. That's the worst statement ever did. They lost the original Game Boy Game of Color. Lost them of them. I still have them somewhere. Still anywhere. Risk in the middle of shit. Eyeballs like a gator. Well, even if I, if you said that I could stop them without any risk of being harmed, I still wouldn't stop them. Let's just say that. None of my business. That's between you and Walmart. Not bad, 35k. I'll take it. Four barrows runs 150k. Someone else is stealing it. Stealing stuff, or leave them alone. Take everything, yep. Now, if I see someone stealing from a mom and pop, I might say something. I'm not a rat when it comes to crimes, but I'm a rat when it comes to cheaters, which is very odd. I ratted out a girl in a geology test one time because I studied hard for it and she was using crib notes and I got pissed. I went to a drunk tank for a night because I wouldn't rat out people when I threw yogurt at a float in Arizona State. It's X mounts, they target you, yep. Let's gauge and steal on some more. I'll steal an act and tell me you can steal a million bucks out of consequence. Tell me more. Um, I think that is something that's lost on all those those theft videos that people see. One, a lot of those people who are blatantly stealing from... Yeah, it's it, when you go to jail, you don't really go to, like, jail jail. Like You don't go to... Uh, at least when I went the two times. It's like a little cell. Like, or it's a cell, like a big one. And the office... You ever see Harold and Kumar go to White Castle? It's a lot like that cell, where it's a big open cell, and you see all the cops out in front of you, all their desks are there, and the lights are on all night. Um, 
that's my experience. I'm not sure if that's everyone's experience uh, getting arrested by the cops. I'm also white, so. Oh, that's the tunnel. Oh, we got Aramizer. That never happens. Can't remember the last time we got Aramizer walked down. Um, yeah, at one point in time, they press charges. Uh, other times, those people are recidivists, and it's really hard to uh, uh, stop them because they either are homeless or meth heads or they have like absolutely nothing behind them they're just stealing because they just want to go to prison or something like that um a lot of times they're people who are working in a larger gang together doing mass amounts of stealing across the city and they are absolutely being targeted by the police um a lot of times these people are tracked through uh uh the security cameras and they just show up to their house later you know but then you you see that video on reddit and people all freak the fuck out and they think that the world's falling apart which it kind of i mean it's really hard to get instant justice in this world and i think that's a good thing because you don't want people to just instantly fuck up another person all the time that's kind of like an odd society if you get that Sort of a lost art these days in the USA. I haven't heard an actual pickpocket in a while. Mostly grab and run robberies. Yep. If you live in a town where the county jail is, you go to jail. Jail, yep. At least in Elizabeth. What up, Emily? Uh, I like Don. Oh, this department's pet human. At least he used to be a poor human. Poor guy, yep. Um, then there's always near. It's still a problem, and it sucks ass when you have to pay for shit, and then someone just, like, walks out with all this crap, and it's really brazen about it. Um... But like law, like loss in Walmart's barely anything. They easily make that money back, and your money is not get. You're not getting charged more for loss, like at all. They're charging you more no matter what. Corporations are constantly figuring out how much they could charge you before you stop buying, rather than as a response to like a gang of people coming in and stealing two grand worth of shit. Two grand sounds like a lot, it is, but to like a corporation, it's nothing. Definitely nothing more putting your, your employees' lives at risk over, which is why employees are told not to stop people. Both in a legal sense, you don't want to have to be responsible or liable if you're the owner. And also, I mean, just morally, don't make some employee stand in front of someone stealing like that. It's insane. Can't quite put a finger on it. Where's the justice of corporations choose to pay fines over fixing things because the fines are cheaper? Exactly. That's way worse than stealing. Uh, 150k so far. You see it in the top right. 150k. I do barrows not that fast either. Thank you for getting a sub to Emily. I can dig it. There's the Nor. Wage chef needs harsher penalties. My old my old uh, restaurant got hurt for or got hit with that really bad. They deserved it too. And I remember one. Uh, I tell this story a lot. We um, we had this like we had this one. You can always just gift subs. Just give me. Yeah. Um, if you're a lurker here, if you talk, people gift you subs. Not, not, that's not a guarantee. That's just something that tends to happen. Um, Stop. They couldn't be sued because your injuries as a result. Yep. Um, obviously, I'm just saying that, like, it, from a moral standpoint, along with the obvious corporations being evil standpoint, too. Um, my old restaurant that I used to work at was this place called Hands in Fairfield, New Jersey, right across from the Willowbrook Mall. And uh, they got sued by the state for wage theft. They would do, uh, they would take money from hosts, bussers, and kitchen staff. Um, so usually poor people or teenagers is who they were targeting. Um, Cause the Hands have a lot of spaces everywhere. There was like these three people who owned it and they had a bunch of um, restaurant chains everywhere. There we go, Aram's Hood. 
Look at that on our sixth, our sixth one. <laughs> Lucky in other things. Why can't I be lucky in like poker or like what? Like, like, oh my god, it's PQ time. Let's do it. I have to ask you about your YouTube stream too, Nilesy. Very proud of you that you took the initiative to do that. Muffled peaking. Um, that was a good thing to end on is an Aram's hood. I don't, Aram's hoods aren't worth that much. It's just the fact that I fucking land this constantly in my fifth fucking barrows run. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, they were stealing from uh, uh, marginalized groups, I guess. I'd say teenagers are marginalized groups. Usually people don't care about teenagers too much unless it's like for a moral outrage that they didn't talk to the teenagers about. Um, we had this one person who used to work with us who was an awful, awful manager, and she was a mean person and bitter and all these things and rude and would always ask you to do more than your job entitled and stuff. So people just naturally didn't like her. Um, we had this guy, his dad died, and uh, he, uh, he wasn't a very rich guy. I mean, he was poor as fuck, but he wasn't like poor, poor. He was really lower, uh, lower class. Um, and uh, we all raised money for his dad's funeral because he couldn't afford it. Uh, we got like $1,000 together, basically. These two people in the restaurant donated him like $400 together, uh, this couple that worked there. And then we, uh, what up? I'm telling a sad story to my chat. Fucking keep it light. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very uh, much for having uh... me again. No worries, I'm sorry if I woke up the people who were watching him play Dwarf Fortress. Uh, Alright, listen like here. To it. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. See you later. Later. Dwarf Fortress is great, first off. Alright, just because he doesn't understand it. Oh, it says people arrive. We're doing Barrows. Barrow boys. So, why I'm doing Barrows right now is I need to afford better weapons. And I am very far away from affording better weapons so it's a big grind at the moment i also have to figure out how i'm gonna do some of these quests because like i suck at killing things i don't know how to kill glow and he's just beating the crap out of me all the time every single time i try to do that quest there's our first arams hood right there so in six kills we got an arams hood is what we left off on we also left off on a story of someone stealing money from uh a guy whose dad just died uh <laughs> Join the fight cave in this stream so good distraction. There you go. Um, who will win the Super Bowl? The Eagles. I'm really feeling strong about the Eagles. I'm not really sure if I'm that confident in it because, I mean, like, Mahomes is playing with a high ankle sprain. That's really hard to do. Uh, but Kelsey is just so hard to stop. It doesn't really matter. But they're missing out on McCall Hardman who's a really good distraction route runner. I don't think their defense is that good. I think the Bengals' offensive line is ridiculously bad. I've seen bad offensive lines in my past. They, I, that, that shit is like playing behind a sieve. Uh, the worst offensive line performance I saw this year was from the Colts, though. With uh, Bernard and Raymond literally not being able to stop anything. They just had him down block and they ran away from him for the rest of the time. Thank you for giving a stop the scob stack. Tony should play, though. I grind my weed while I listen to you. Tony's a good good receiver if i mean if he just could stay healthy that's the only problem that's why the giants traded him um they're trying to get anything out of him um eagles defense is incredibly good i love their defense the the two styles of teams right now so the eagles haven't been tested everyone's been saying that they're right they haven't been tested but that doesn't matter even if they were tested i think they'd still be in the super bowl this year their team is incredibly good Right? Incredibly good. Two lockdown corners, great safeties, great linebacker rotation, great, uh, um, that was set up wrong here. Oh, no, that's hit underground already. Um, great linebacker rotation, uh, great defensive end rotation, uh, great defensive tackles with Hargrave right in the middle there. Uh, stellar defense, right? They should be doing great. Problem with that is that their defense, while not having been tested, hasn't really been tested with the style of offense that the Chiefs have, which is all-out attack with really specific plays to get certain people open. Um, 
Andy Reid is a is a mastermind tactician. He knows how to work out Kelsey uh, to get him open in in the flats to to actually enable some sort of running game, uh, especially if Mahomes having that high ankle sprain. Um, so it's an unknown quantity is what's happening right now with Chiefs versus Eagles is the, is the big problem. My gut says the Eagles should stay strong. Now, the other problem, though, is that the, the Chiefs defense hasn't really been tested this year either with someone as potent as the Eagles rushing RPO attack. Um, the uh, Jalen Hurts is no slouch this year. Jalen Hurts is... is uh, making defenses stay honest, and he's working the flats and the, the sidelines extremely well. If you try to stop his deep ball, he throws it short in the flats, or they just start handing it off and going down the A-gap. That's what they did to just absolutely decimate the uh, 49ers, who have a really good defense. Um, the only other problem with that is that the 49ers kept getting the, the, the ball in horrible positions because they had no offense. Um, if I was a betting man, I would not bet on the Super Bowl. It is just a lot of unknowns. My gut says the Eagles just have a better defense and then their offense is, is extremely capable and they're just, that's just a recipe for success. Um, and then the thing in the back of my head is saying that they, they haven't been tested. Like, this is a big deal that they haven't been tested. They could just show up and get their asses absolutely kicked. So who knows? They do not. Anywho, I'm not a betting man. I really am. Like, I like playing poker, but I like playing poker because I feel like I have control over it. I don't really gamble on things that I, I feel like are unknowns. And when I play poker, I'm really nitty. I wait till I have a good hand before I call people a lot of the times, or if I'm in a good position and I play the odds. Like, I want to have, like, a good call before I call. So... It's, it's, uh, I feel like when you don't have a lot, you are more conservative with what you have. If you're very, very poor, you give away more because it's like a herd mentality. You have to stay alive. But if you're like sort of poor, you're like, ah, shit, I can't just give this away. It's like, I, I don't smoke all my fucking weed when I get weed and I'm roll a whole bunch of blunts and then get stupid. Um... Because I know I'm going to have to spend more, right? I'm not going to just throw away my money if I think it's a bad bet. Because then I'm going to have to spend more. <laughs> it's like losing more money. If I was comfortable in my money making, I would be a, I would be a betting man, right? If I had like thousands of dollars or... Um, not thousands. If I was like making 100k a year... I could easily just throw away 50, 100 bucks in the Super Bowl and not really care. Can't do that. Eleven skeletons, 737. I shouldn't really track them. I apparently you can get. Oh no 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 no! no! Let's put this in the spot where I won't click it easily. <laughs> ah, we can refill our prayer. Fuck it. Um. <laughs> Right, go over here. Like that. Do the Batman's. One day I'll get my my uh, house high enough that I can do that. What I have like seventy construction right now. I don't have to constantly go back here over and over again. Um, the other problem with Super Bowls is, I mean, it's like just the the. The common thing if they don't play each other a lot they're not going to know each other so the games are usually not competitive not all the time there's been really good super bowls in the past but it's hard to get it Beat, ah hello nazi i am not playing dwarf fortress and dwarf fortress is extremely entertaining you shut up um we are farming barrows. This is fun because you could shut up. You could get good stuff from barrows. People love this. 
I've already played Subnautica. That's the problem. You have all these entertaining games you haven't gotten to yet. Love it. Dwarf Fortress is great. Oh, I'm just chatting. Shit. You're right. Barrow Boys. RuneScape. My bad. Good call. Update. New game, please. Thank you. Thank you. Big rescue. Um, completely forgot about that part. Um, Super Bowl betting. Already, sports betting is highly unreliable, right? There's an old saying that everyone, you, you see the same faces at the final table for a reason. I mean, usually you saw the same faces at the final table because there was like 100 people that played back then. But the, the point is, is that poker is a game of luck, but it's also a game of skill because you can pick, right? You can, you can pick your spot. You can have educated guesses. In football, that shit is just so bad to gamble on. And it's getting so bad everywhere, right? Like, I don't have any problem with gambling. Waste your money how you want to waste it. But I, I have a real problem, like, exposing more people to gambling than it needs to be. It just feels like such a bad investment. No more penis vagina talk. To go on sports betting. You can think you have all the bases covered and something random happens. The big example was the... Um, uh, 49ers-Eagles game last week. All these people put bets on. They had all these guesses of what was going to happen. They thought X was going to happen, Y was going to happen. The fucking starting quarterback goes down in his first play. Everything's wrong. Everyone's educated guess is wrong. No one predicted that. Complete UCL tear. Couldn't couldn't throw another ball. I wonder how much money Vegas made off of that. And it's really interesting how Vegas does betting with stuff like that. They have to induce enough bets on the bad team in order to make money. And they have to induce enough bets on extreme odds to not have people just dismiss it right away. So there's a thing called um, parlays. When you went to Vegas, you won 5K. I've never been to Vegas. I don't have enough money to go to Vegas. Um, a parlay is guessing a series of, uh, of wins or losses uh, for a variety of teams or a variety of, of prop bets or something like that in order to win a lot of money. So you'd put like, uh, if you put like a $100 parlay and you had to get like seven uh, guesses right in a row, you could get thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars off of that, a bet within a bet, right? And no one would take that bet if it wasn't attractive to take. Buy peanuts, have fun, boil them. That's what we do over here. Feels good, man. Thank you for the raid, Nilesy, as always. Raid me the other day too, and I was appreciative of that. Um, boiled peanuts is like a southern thing over here in America. Uh, peanuts. If you have a, a ridiculous parlay bet, no one's going to bet it, right? They're just going to ignore it. They're not going to put down a lot of money on that unless they're degenerates. Um, but you also have to balance out what if they win. And they have whole teams of statisticians and geniuses working on this shit to set odds. Some of the highest paid people in America. Fascinating subject to me. Because it's a lot of math combined. It's, it's math. It's evil math. Math to make people poor. <laughs> The attraction of you might be the big winner, right? It's people gambling, and I will be the big winner. Not those dummies, me. Please be a Varric. Penis parlay. 
Yeah, it's a Varric. Lucky twice. Do I the crunch? You know I hate circus peanuts. Who eats those? They're so weird tasting. Awful consistency. I find that to be the oddest thing. There's a lot of weird food out there. Obviously, delicacies and shit like that. They probably taste way worse, but there, there's so many desserts out there that are like chewy foam. You love it? I don't know. Crappy marshmallows. They're, uh... Peanuts are the worst nut? No, peanuts are fine nut. I think uh, almonds are the worst nut. I'm never excited to see almonds in something. Um, the hard marshmallow. The, uh, the desserts people eat out there. Always really weird to me. There's shit that I just can't understand tastes good. Like um, really complex Italian desserts. I don't like a cannoli. It's like eating diabetes. You know? My uh, family loves this thing that they call cozy. My family loves to name things stupidly. I don't know why they do this. They have a... they. I shit you not. My aunts, my like 50, 60 year old aunt, New Jersey aunts came up with a drink called the Forbidden Blade. I'm not sure if that's cool or not. It's like gin and grapefruit. My family's from New Jersey. Sounds sexy, right? How did a bunch of old women come up with the, the name The Forbidden Blade? Uh, this fucking rat won't leave me alone. I need to get more... What did I kill? Did I get two skeletons already? can't remember. Um, but they have this other dessert that they call cozy, which is just diabetes on a plate. It's like whipped cream, cherries. Um, I think I only killed one skeleton. They got the blade part from, right? It's like gin, grapefruit, something else. I can't remember what the hell they put it in it. But you'll just be hearing a bunch of old New Jersey women... Talking in New Jersey accent. And then it's just like, get me another forbidden blade. An old samurai. D and D item. That is a martini, yeah. Yeah, that's where they got it from. It's like forbidden fruit, they call it the forbidden blade or something. It's so fucking weird. How good is how good is my Jersey accent if I had to talk in Jersey? It's all right. You have to hit the the common words that everyone says from New Jersey, like you know, coffee or uh, draw. Open the draw, get me some coffee. It's a very dumb accent. It's also certain parts of the. Of Jersey sounds like that. It's like Jersey, Staten Island, or more is more that area. Ah, it's my sub ran out. Sub now, and you get nothing because all my vods are free. I, have nothing, I don't charge for anything. I guess it just does. I made like thirty bucks off ads so far. That's not bad. Not great, but it's not bad. Um. I'll take it. That pays like some bills. My Spotify bills. Um, oh, do you see what the shit they're doing with Netflix? And everyone's up in arms over it? I wonder what it's like to be a normie right now with Netflix. Thank you, Baron. No one sniped you. Oh, thank you. Right? Because, like, they, I can survive Netflix going down like that. I can't, it's going to suck that I can't just use my parents' account anymore. But I can just, you know, what's on Netflix? And then, you know, Google. Oh, I have to watch the Junji Ito thing that came out on Netflix. Um, 
But what's it like to be a normie right now? That's gotta suck. I bet, you know what? I, I guarantee you this is what's gonna happen. No one's gonna fucking notice. At all. At all. That's why Netflix is doing it. Reddit's up in arms. Anyone who's aware of, like, how to pirate is up in arms. But the vast amount of normies are probably just going to be like, oh, I have to pay an extra $8 a month to give my kid his own account when he's away at school. Okay. I do pay for Spotify. It is pretty normie, but, like, I'm okay with it. It's convenient. I pay a, a thing $8 a month to mimic a classic rock radio station without ads. And I'm okay with that. Because I know even I don't even listen to my own playlist. I listen to a radio based on my playlist to find new songs. And it's not even new songs. It's just new old songs that I forgot about. And it works. Netflix is... Um, Anime thing on Netflix is good as watch. Is that the the Junji Ito thing? Because I think it's animated. Pretty sure. Um, so as long as they have it, the home Wi-Fi. I, I'm pretty sure what it is is that you, if you're not logged in for 30 days in your home device or have been over there, I don't know. It's basically a whole bunch of stuff that's setting up. Uh, I like how I'm trying to talk about it, and I just said I don't know what it is. And then I'm trying to claim more about things. It's trying to set up having to pay more for Netflix. Is basically what they're trying to do. A, a long guide into um, trying to get like double what they're making right now. Trying to become cable, basically. As cable is phased out, they want to charge more for that become the new cable company just online because that's the only difference between all these streaming services and cables that one's a physical TV and one is an Ethernet cable also all the channels are broken up and you have to pay for each one individually but you know whatever that actually might that I think that was the ideal of cable back in the day that you could just pick and choose what you wanted to pay for which channels which is a lot like doing it with streaming services now. It's just people always associate streaming services with cheap. They don't like paying more. And I'm right on board with that. Streaming services are annoying. I wish I could just get all of them under each one big umbrella that I pay for. But also, I don't like utility companies. So what do I want? I don't know. That's a weird thing. We want everything underneath one umbrella. No, not like that. Not a monopoly. Every episode's different. I got yog porn on my TV. What? What? There's a lot of yog porn now, actually. I was doing OnlyFans. I would love to. I don't think mine would sell that great. And I want to be a teacher again someday so no porn out of little old me unfortunately deep fake lewis porn yeah someone should make that that'd be a laugh post on the subreddit this deep fake lewis porn <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, we're at max. Oh, I almost went over. My bad. Hi, Darok. This guy can pop you, so you should always have your prior up for it. Hit you really hard. On Tradmill porn? Yeah, you just could put all our faces in a big, big orgy. Do that. No, oh, Lewis would probably not like that. Or he'd find it funny. One of two. I don't really know. It's hard to tell with Lewis sometimes. Onion army, it's such a pizza things. Um, forty one k. Was it like you have after twenty barrows runs is like your highest chance to hit an item or something like that? I forgot what the the number was. Right, hit one, but it's not a very 
expensive one. This is, I think, 180k. This item is pristine. 173k. Not terrible. I think full Arams is used in one of the newer bosses, so it's just it's worth a little bit more than it used to be. Thank you, Os Adrian. Then why don't girls on Bumble agree? I haven't updated my profile in like seven years too. That'd probably help. Oop, Derek again. One day we will find the goth of my dreams. One day. Um, that'd be a weird Pokemon game. Nah, that'd be awful. It's probably like a sex game. They probably already have that. Let's take it to catch the girl of your dreams as the name of the title. You know, it's Pokemon. You throw them at like goth girls or cheerleaders or the fuck people have fetishes for. That's probably already a sex game. Plus, that highly implies something bad right there. So, <laughs> I don't want to get caught. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Down here. Pokia girl. Yeah, it could work too. My lighter just died. That is awful when your lighter dies. Especially when you know you have to go out and get another one. You have to make the pit stop that always costs more money than you think it does. I'm going to go into the gas station for a lighter. Or I'm going to go into the gas station for a drink, right? And then you walk out of the gas station with like a little pack of, of sweet stuff or Fritos. You bought something stupid in there because you feel bad buying one lighter. No one buys just one lighter. That's, fuck, that's weird. Then you buy two lighters. Get a six pack of lighters with your food, yep. It's way better. I never think to do that. Oh, the weed fell into the floor. That's good. Your food. Everything's always cheaper at the grocery store. You missed the escape stream. I've just been doing barrows because we I started late. I came on at one. And then uh Nalzi's pub quiz is an hour and a half after one. So then I got hooked into RuneScape just to kill time and then afterwards it's like this is like having a weird half day. Good night, Aus Adrian. I love you too. Thank you for calling me pretty. I feel like I get a lot of compliments. I like compliments. They're like weird parasocial compliments. Because they're not like from people in real life. They're from people on the internet. But guys always complain about never getting compliments. Maybe when I worked it, like... Yeah. I think if you surround yourself with good people, you get compliments. Because you compliment people to make you make people like you, right? Well, not make them, but get people, you know, it's, it's a nice thing to be complimented, so you like people who compliment people a lot. I've always surrounded myself with good people who are nice. And I'm not that nice. Oh, I forgot I was saving that dose for Darok. Ooh, that's going to be spicy. Might have to go back and get more. Should I try to kill Darok with no prayer? I'd probably die, right? The one clap? Yeah. It'd be funny. Do it or no balls? Hell yeah. Because you deserve to feel okay about your weird ass self. Yep, yeah, but I'm saying that people should, should you know... Don't surround yourself with really mean people, because then you're going to be, like, miserable all the time. 
you can sort of, like there's nothing wrong with someone who tells you the truth and doesn't sugarcoat things that's perfectly fine but if you're just around mean bitter people to say mean things to you and shit like that no shit you're never gonna get a compliment Ah, fuck you, rat! I don't want to kill you. I want to kill Skilletmans. Oh, this... I'm going to only be paying for... Stop it. Oh, my God. I hate rats so much. They get in the way... I, I, what's the formula for killing rats in, in Barrows? I got to kill five of them or four of them or something. Um, Cheeseburger on a belly. Yep, it's Randy from uh, Trailer Park Boys. Because I would yell at Randy Random a lot in uh, RimWorld. And then they wanted a Randy emoji, and I'm nothing if not a giver. The, uh... The people who complain about never getting compliments online seem like they surround themselves with bad people. Or they're very needy. Which is fine, too. There's a lot of needy people out there. Okay, here comes the one clap. Do not do it. Do not do it, Derek. You fuck. Do not do it, you fuck. This is actually pretty tense for me. I'm not joking. Don't do it, Derek. Let me be lazy. Let me be lazy. Eh, I got all balls. You think I don't got no balls? <laughs> green screen, Delta stream production quality has skyrocketed. Yeah, I got a green screen a while ago. I want nine fucking kills. I, I can't explain it. I really can't. It, it's just, uh, I actually have to say that, Derek, here. I can't sell that. Muffled peeking. I'm sorry. I think it's when I sit closer to my mic. I'll put it back over here. Um, why am I so lucky in this game? I don't understand it. It's so weird. <laughs> I shouldn't complain. It's just very odd. Um, let's refresh. Get some more food in us. Get some potions. Blotions. That. Yep. Uh, three spots for what? What am I keeping these three spots open for? I was doing this because I'm lazy. I don't want to bank these. Plus, it's neat to just keep them alive. We could do like a loot check at the end. I never do that. Um, no worries. It's funny. It's easy if you have an R light. Scatizo, huh? Do I have to change my gear setup to go do it? Go Tizo. Uh, it's only credit of Dark Totem. Where's the strategy guide? On the powers of Demon Bane weapons. Needs not. I got that on. This is saying uh, Obsidian. I can just put that on. Arc Light. I got that. Barrow's Glove. And then just fill that with that. Okay. Um, more armor with high magic defense, black dragon hide, while having protect from melee active, so the only source of damage will be from Skatizo's magic attacks. If the player can afford one, a twisted bow, dragon is also a special effect, use arc light for similar results. At any point during the fight, Skatizo will randomly activate the awakened altars found in the north, south, east, and west. These altars each have 100 hit points, decrease, increases defense, and apply a damage reduction. It's best to take them out whenever two or more press, pre present, and they'll just increase the defense. Um, tower, when traveling, disable the Wicked Arms, push the template switch to protect from magic. Skatizo does not close in to use magic and instantly disable them in one hit, regardless of the player's stats and gear. Uh, stamina potions are in vibes because you have to run around a lot. You'll summon three reanimated demon spawns to aid it. May also summon a dark Anku to aid it. The players use to protect from melee. This will pose no threat. If the minions are slain, Skatizo may. Okay, let's try it. 
It's honestly a walk in the park. Let's try it. We're bossing, baby. We're learning. Deposit, 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 uh, deposit, and then they want me to carry a whole bunch of food, dark totem, a stamina potion, some prayers, and divine combat. All right. Um, I deposited the wrong thing. I always do that. Ignore the spawns. Gotcha. So let's do two prayer potions and a stamina. Uh, I got a dose of Divine Super Combat right there. And then uh, let us get our gear out. So they're saying Black Dehyde? But then they don't show that here. Blessed, blessed. They're saying Obsidian Plate or Carol's Leather Skirt. I'm a Defender, Dragon Glove Boots. Dragon Boots. Okay, so let's do this. Where are my Barrow's Gloves? Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, Barrow's Gloves, that... Um, I still haven't ever gotten my Fire Cape. One day I'll try to figure that out. Just rock melee death gear and pray mage the whole time either works. I don't have any carols. I have none of that. That's why I was also farming that, because I need to get full carols, full arums, and full darox. And I'm like, you know what? Full guffins. Who knows? Plus it's fun just to collect things, because I'm trying to figure out things to do in this game. Um, and goals to hit. So, that, one, two, three. I still need to get my fire's chest piece, but I don't really care about it. Um, where's my arc light? Okay, or oh, is it only three shards? Charges an arc light? I think you got your fire. No, yeah, very nice. I am not that good at RuneScape. Actually, I'm pretty bad at RuneScape, I have to say. Um, I'm very slow on changing things, like going to different menus and doing things. I was going to have Harry get me my. You never played this? Uh, I was going to get Harry to get my fire cape. Uh, this game, I, whenever I hear people talking about it back in the day, it would confuse the fuck out of me. Like, all the different... Oh, I never imbued my warrior's ring, either. Oh, because I was going to get a berserker ring and imbue that, but I never bought one yet. Uh, that's 650,000 Nightmare Zone points, so I'd have to go back to Nightmare and train, train that. All right, whatever. Um... Confused the hell of me back in the day, but now I totally understand everything. I have to get my Rata's Blessing 3, too. That, that matters. Um, and then my Defender. You have the GP by Brimstone if you don't have any imbues. I don't think I have the gold for that. How much is the Brimstone? Uh, 3 million, 3.2. I'm at 3.6. The 2.91 mil saved up in this bank right here. Oh, that's from these two that I'm saving too, which is a problem. That's going in my special gear loot area. Over here. I don't have a ton of money to spend. There's a few things I'm saving up for too. Point three nine mil in resources I could sell off. 3.11 mil in resources here. That's all my mahogany planks, probably. I just played it, but yeah. Um, I got inspired to play this game from Settled. And also, I was playing Winklecha. Little shop. And uh, I was like, oh, this reminds me of RuneScape. And then I just started playing it. And, and, yeah. uh, there fire trucks. A house exploded by me. I don't know how to show this without giving away where I live. It's right by me. And I and my mom called me up and was like, did you see the house explode? And I was like, a house exploded? It wasn't a meth lab. It was just a fire. It was a gas leak fire. Um, 
And then I was driving down the road. I'm like, that is an exploded house right there. And I drive past this house all the time. It's just like on the corner. It fucking exploded. That's a thing that could happen. Just a general tip if you want a good ring. I do want a good ring. I need to save money for certain things. I do have a lot of money right now. I have no idea how this tab is worth 424k. I don't know what I possibly have in here either. I think a few of these are uh, stash unit things. Alright, so let's equip this. That, and then just fill up on food, and we should be good to go. Okie dokie. Go back to our house. Everyone always thinks meth lab. Meth lab's not the only exploding thing out there, you guys. Many other things can explode, too. I forgot the goddamn Dark Totem in order to get in there. That's a problem. Can't go to see him if I don't have the key to see him. Like that. Dark Totem. That matters. I like the run escaping. Ever since someone pointed out run escape, I can't stop seeing it. Uh, and apparently that was why they put the, the thing between the logo to break up Run Escape. Um, and really live like this is see no problem. <laughs> I got everything I can possibly need. I got my hung up Xerix Talisman. I haven't ever, I didn't boost myself to hang up the, uh, the Glory or whatever the fuck I could put right here. Uh, or the Dig Sight Pendant I think goes right there. I just added this a while ago, and I got my little portal to the Grand Exchange. That's all I need, and if I need to go somewhere else, I pop somewhere else. This, I wish, was over here instead of over here, but what can I do? I think right here I'm going to put my collection room when I get up to it in time. Uh, in order to raise my construction, this game is extremely, extremely fucking boring when you have to grind out some skills. So you just literally put it on another monitor, and you do it while you're, like, playing something else. Um... We keep your girlfriend. He's over here. Uh, there's a table I build here over and over and over and over and over again. And I just don't want to build it right now, so we're not. Teleport. Love you, Zarek's Talisman. Heart. The game where you play with other games. It works! It gives you a sense of accomplishment in this meaningless life. Mahogany Homes. I found way more mindless bench building. Um... I hear you lose a lot of money doing mahogany homes. What do you want, mysterious old man? Is this should charge my arc light. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, how the fuck do you charge your arc light? Do some network. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just use it on the sword. My bad. After all this time, I've been playing RuneScape for about a year. Uh, what? What? Got it. Genius. Um... I've been playing the game for about a year. I'm still a complete moron at it. I have no idea why you do anything in this game. I, I, You know this tab over here? This is apparently... There's stats in this game. You can look at uh, what you have. And I, I think I've looked at this screen twice in a year and a half. So. Alright, let's attempt the boss and get very, very scared. Because it's my first time ever doing it. Oh, God, the eyeball. It's open. Escatizo. All right, so he's going to light random altars, and I have to go hit them, apparently. He's only got 450 health. That's not bad. 
See, this would scare the hell out of me. Someone had to give me confidence to go do it. Oh yeah, drink my pot. Time to die, Skatees. Stab him again. I'm tight. This game, I used to not respect it. I'm telling you. It is a pretty decent graphics game nowadays. It's got its own little style. And then on top of it, it's uh, challenging. This is one of the easier bosses, apparently. Um, but there's a lot of mechanic bosses in this game. Unless there's two or more up. Okay. UI thing will pop up. Well, here's one. It's the south. Oh, it's this guy right here. So now we go attack it. Nice. And then while we're attacking it, we have to switch to magic so we don't get hurt. So this is like, that. that's the skill cap in this game. Is You stop summoning eyeballs? Um... Swapping your prayers, swapping items. Oh, I could turn on my piety prayer too while I'm fighting this guy. I forgot, I just got that today. You could do both, right? Piety and protect from magic. The overhead and that. Master prayer flicking. Okay, like that. Now I got piety going with it. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're doing more damage now. I'm getting better at this game. Skatees. Prayer flick. Yeah, hit pretty hard right there. Hit the altar, you... Non-cooperative. That, I have like two totems too. I could come back and do this again. Get slow enough, just ignore the totems. I don't know how much health he has. Eh, he's got 210 health left. He just hit me really hard right there too. This feels like a very slow kill. <laughs> like 25%, don't worry about him. Ah, oh, here comes his friends. Still doing decent damage to him. Is that 25% now? Are you sure? Are you sure don't worry about them? They're still doing decent damage. You might be right. These guys hurt. Alright. Go smack one or two, I'm not sure. <laughs> We're doing 10 damage. I'm going to go smack a few. I don't trust this. There's MIDI music going off right now. You only hear this in boss fights or playing trains. Let's go back and fight him. I think two down is alright. Come on, Scathizo, die. You're very close to dying. Alrighty, one more hit should do it. Two more hits should do it. Three more hits should do it. Four more, obviously. Five more hits. And we got him. In a nice little five hit. Where's the loot? There it is. 93k in soul rooms, an ancient shard, and some infernal ashes. I'll take it.
Not bad for the first kill. I got one more and I can do that again. So let's go back here. It's not the uh, things drop use. Oh wait, yeah, because you're Iron Man. You're doing something different. Yeah. I always forget about that. There's a really high chance to drop the plat. So let's put away this and just go do it again really quick. We can also charge up the arc light more, I believe, with all these shards. Do you have to wait for it to run out in order to get it? 952 charges left. I'll just keep this in the bank for right now. Um, Infernal Ashes over here. Uh, I even want to waste an inventory slot for Infernal Ashes. You go over here. Another one of you. I don't think I need two prayer potions actually to fight this guy. You kill him fast enough. And then uh, we have our other dark totem right here. Great. It pulses. Gross. And then uh, we'll draw from there. Bring two in case. Better safe than sorry. Fine. Divine. This is the funniest part about it. So we made like 90k off the last one. Divine Combat. What's it called? Is it Divine Super Combat? Yeah, Divine Super Combat. Uh, that's 13k right there just to get another one to keep fighting. But we're going to get like uh, three of these. So we already spent half our money back in order to... <laughs> Uh, it's like the old war, uh, Warcraft. Gotta spend money to make money. Spend more money. One, two, three, four. And then withdraw or cook cam bombs. I still have a bunch of raw ones. So I just didn't feel like making them. And then deposit all our money too. For our last shark. That's the game, baby. You gotta grind in order to grind. Got to eat. At this, we're back to Barrows for a bit. Oh, I forgot to pop the combat before I went in. Did you pop it? Pop it? Why are you drinking? Wow, that was odd. Wait. You want to drink? Or had that problem before. Oh, my prayer's off. How did that happen? I think I'm lagged on this. I might just be lagged. Because I clicked that on and off and nothing happened. And then it took me a bit to drink and to eat right there. A little annoying. He is popping me right now, Jesus. I'm already down all this food. Right, let's go kill this eye. It was late on that prayer. Well, it wasn't that it was no prayer. I clicked it on and off to get the uh my piety up and working with my quick cast and it just didn't turn on but it was also hard for my guy to, to drink right when he came in which was also odd okay there we go and it's got popped really hard again this is abs this is absurd. What the fuck is happening here? Uh, um There we go. So we only we did not half his health and he he just kept hitting me with magic over and over again. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. 
He summoned all his eyeballs again. Scatizo is mad at us from last time. He's like mass summoning eyeballs too. I mean, look at this. He's summoning them as soon as I leave. This is a belligerent Scatizo. Tank the melee hits? Okay, let's try that. Nope. <laughs> I think I, I think it's just Scatizo's belligerent right now. That happens sometimes um, in this game. You just get hit over and over again, and I'm not really hitting him back right now. Even with 99 combat, 100 strength, he's big mad. I missed my special attack. He's summoning all these eyeballs again. Jesus, this is gonna come down in a wire. This one. Barrow's much easier than this. Probably better money, too. What are other bosses I could do? Fun boss learning stream. Garmafunga Togalugo. It's Polynesian. E Willy Wonga. I'm playing through Knights of the Old Republic at night because I have nothing else to do. My team is HK47, Bastion, and me. I'm melee DPS, she's the tank. And, wow, well, my god! Stop fucking me up. Um, the big problem is we just keep missing. It's like miss after miss after miss. The big problem with Knights of the Old Republic, and I forgot about this when I used to play it back in the day. Um, there's not a lot of variety in that game. There's one build you can go that's always like the guaranteed best build. And uh, nothing really competes with it, and that's going Fury Attack. You just hit over and over and over again. Um... Drink your potion. You didn't drink your potion! What the fuck? Wait, it won't turn on! There we go. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm just going to ignore the eyeballs now. Um, you could run bandos. Could do that. I think I am lagging because it just doesn't... Uh, the, the things I click on just don't go through. Um... Plus, I am missing. I mean, look at all these misses. I have to chug another super combat here just to get through this. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine chance to hit. Come on, I just hit a lot. <laughs> I think we're on seven missed attacks in a row. There's one. Now let's count one, two. Okay, two right there. He's really close to dying. All right. Uh, he's not dying. Just die. Thank you. That was a rough scatizo. What do we get? Ah, 334k. Really good. Bunch of Onyx Bolt tips. It'll take that in a heartbeat. Let's go sell those off. Um, back to Barrows. That was our last totem. If you guys want to run bandos, I'll go run bandos. Is Cygnus still here? What up, Sean? You're also doing Iron Man in this. IRC. Examine. 12k. You're <laughs> fishing in the GIM, yep. I got all my fishing gear. We're good. I got really lucky with this, too. I did like 30 uh, runs and got this all. Um, three times of peanut butter? Absolutely. Actually, I can't have peanut butter. Too high in oxalates. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I'll put the arc light over here. That seems like a good spot to store it. 
Um, 2,500 swamp pace. I'm at 3.5 mil right now. I'll sell this for just like a quick 300k, but like... I'm in the, the pure save mentality for a while. I'm hopeless. There's a, there's a lot of high oxalate food out there I'm not allowed to eat. It's not like that abnormal to have food problems like that. Um, set up here. Gamp. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 11 slots, is why I'm counting. Nine, ten. Um, we need arrows. I always forget one thing, too, whenever I'm looking at this. Rune arrows. Setup plugin lets you send a load on the side and all the filter your bank feed. Oh, really? The inventory setup install. I haven't had any B sod since I fixed this. Knock on wood. Uh, how do I use this now? I got my setup I use for barrows. Where am I? Um, hit save setup. Okay, let me do this really quick then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. This. Uh, missing my weapon and my helmet that I use for this. So I use a uh, base guard and I use the trident. Like that. And then I need to sell this off really quick. I forgot about this. Uh, good. Sold instantly. Of course it did. Didn't put up for high enough. Quick 320k from... Well, not that wasn't quick. They worked for that. And then we go over to here. We hit the plus. Barrows? Like that? Right click add tag. Is this correct? Like that? And then I hit, um... Oh, on items. Like the plug-in side panel. I don't, I don't know. How do I do this? On the wrench settings icon. Oh, it's over here. Inventory setups. I didn't even see that. Um, it, like that. And then you hit, uh, is it this new inventory setup? Barrows. And then what do I do? Do I click on which items I want? Boy, it has a long way to go. Dear Daltos, I hope this message finds you well. I've been a fan of your students for a while now. I always enjoy watching you play my favorite games. Energy and enthusiasm make each stream an exciting and entertaining experience. I especially appreciate your extra chat. It makes me feel like I'm part of the gaming community. That's pretty good. Enable bank filtering. I would never figure this out on my own. Okay. Hit that. Like that? That's good. So now this is all highlighted, but why didn't... Uh... Oh, because I didn't put that on. 
It didn't show up there, but it showed up over here. Weed makes everybody lazy. Ah, uh, that's odd. Hang on. Let's just put them on and then see if that works. Thank you, Sammy. Give him the chat, GPT. Refresh. Yes. Okay. Now that should work. So when I go to Banker, and I if I hit over there, this just all highlights, but it still doesn't show in here for some reason. Very odd. Blossoms like the spring. There's a 28 gift subs. Very odd. Oh well, that's still useful. I like that a lot. And then uh, all my teleport to houses, and then we have a bunch of that, and a spade should be all we need here. Oh, my weird lock pick, but I have to buy a new weird lock pick soon. We're probably running out of charges on this one. Strange old lock pick. Eight charges left. Ugh. I hate to be caught out without this. I probably forget. Okay. Let's just, we will. Uh, get out of here. Inventory setup. Uh, we'll high elk that one and buy a new one. We're all just AI bots. Strange. I'll take it as long as you give me money. I don't care if real people are watching me or not. This is so expensive now. Oh my god. This used to be like 30k a pop. It tripled in price. Oh man, imagine if you invested in that. Beep. Pick that. Now we got that in. Still a lot of money. God. If I was a billionaire, that would be a, a fun idea to do. Like you, you gaslight someone into thinking. No, I not mean gaslight. It's basically like a Truman Show deal. Only um, I don't advertise it. I just have like I try to find some of my size, right? Fifty viewers ish, and then I. But it, all the fifty viewers are a bot. It's just me. You know, one of these graphics. This is the HD plugin. Um, barrels for weeks, and I expose lots of people to the item. Wasn't that known before the investment? I think uh, all those YouTube streamers do that. Um, everyone at one point in time discovers that something is a good investment. Or a good money maker, and then before you know it, in the same vein, it made all the uh, fix the graphics. It made all the uh, uh, items for barrows go up too. Like the old block pick costs a lot, but all everything in barrows is is super expensive now. Which is why I'm trying to find instead of buy it. Like Therox gear, that's still holding strong. It's about four mil for full set Aram. Went up to eight mil. This rope skirt, rope top used to be super cheap. Both of those. And then um, Carol went up. A few of these used to be cheap. So what's the goal of the game? Uh, to grind in order to grind more. In order to grind more. In order to grind more. The real difference is if you want a PvP, I guess. That's about it. I think is the end skill cap. And with a lot of MMOs, it's just grind so you can face harder PvE bosses. You know? To be the best. There's also, you know, different ways to play it if you really are interested in, in grinding constantly. And that's uh, like Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man. Different challenges to get through the game. You have to, like, think and strategize. Um, we were missing Darok, too, a lot. Probably wasted all this prayer. Oh, I have Piety on. That's why. Set up. Turn off. Done. Um, those are typically modes that are to play this game that are highly restrictive. You know? You have to do certain things in order to beat it. Take it easy, Ice Spice. New wildly bosses, hell no. I lost 500k in the wilderness last night. This is a great way to figure out items will get price increases. Yep, that's why I used to do in uh, World of Warcraft. But, uh, yeah, I'm lazy now. 
Oop, I just accidentally ate. I meant to drink a potion. Oh, well. Um, fishing trawl, any good tips? Just just do it over and over again. Just do the uh, the pine tar on the bottom. Do it till you hit 255. I think it's 51 instances of patching. Just AFK and click the bar. It's so mindless and it just hurts your finger. Um, this is a co-op game, though, at the end stages. Uh... You just hit... No, I, I don't think I ever do the minimum. I always aim for 255. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Um, at the end of this game, that the, the raids take co-op. That's when you have to get like a good team together and you have to work together. But where I'm at right now is just solo farming. Yeah, and group Iron Man is another thing you do with co-op. So Iron Man is you can't buy off of the Grand Exchange, and you can't trade with players. You have to do everything yourself. And uh, that's typically pretty hard to do unless you're in a group setting and everyone shares everything. Well, no, you can play with people. I just said with the group Iron Man setting. But you can totally play with people now. I think most MMOs you can't really play with people. Like, I don't level with people in World of Warcraft. Right? I guess there's dungeons, but even then, dungeons are like the least form of co-op in a game like that. Just playing by yourself, yeah. Arenas, BG. I can see BGs. You definitely co-op in, in PvP in this game, too. Um, and they have like clan wars, castle wars, so you can play with your friends and do PvP games. Um, there's also PvE mini games you can do together with your friends, like that Trouble Brewing I was at before. Um, World of Warcraft basically has raids and, yeah, I guess BGs and stuff like that, but you almost never level with your friends in World of Warcraft. Never really remember that. Lost to Jad, Jad got hands. I'd probably lose to Jad too, not that good. Um... I did two, need three plus, yep. Me, you, and Cygnus can go do it. Um, the MMO experience, I think, even since I was a younger kid, the MMO experience has always been, it's a massive multiplayer that you play by yourself. All right, Ultima Online, EverQuest, um... Or the other ones. Puzzle Pirates was like the most co-op game I ever played. Rooting for me. Thank you, Epimil. I'm in sure. I'm fearless. I have no idea how to do God Wars. No clue. I'd be a observer. People's only purpose is to crash your spots. Kinda, yeah. It's like, uh... Whenever some... Uh, that happened last night. So I lost, the. Uh, 500k in in doing a prayer run because I was dumb. I uh, got greedy and I tried to uh, do all my... Uh, did that count for me? Is that someone else's? Damn it, that didn't count for me. Uh, I tried to do all my bones in one run with a lot of money behind it. And uh, PvP -er showed up and he killed me and took 500k. Happens, right? The next time I get up to the altar in another world, there's another person there, and they said, hi. And I said, hi back. And they said, are you doing well tonight? And I said, yeah. And then they said, careful, there's one pvp -er around here. And I instantly swapped worlds, not because of the pvp -er, but because I wanted that guy to stop talking to me. Which is uh, the thing with MMOs. Hated Shield of Rav as a kid. Do not, do not want to participate with somebody else when I'm MMOing. PK scam. <laughs> People like that are scouts or not? Maybe. Yeah, they could be. Regardless, I didn't want to talk to the scout. Dude was scouting. Either way. I did not want to talk to dude. Pete in this game. There's a lot of degenerate behavior out there when it comes to competition. Alright. 
when people compete, they, they become ruthless in the sense that um, winning is more than what matters than actually having fun. So that's why you have people gang up and stuff like that. They'll never try to fight you 1v1 in PvP. You'll have people only net deck in, uh, in card games. You'll have people that uh, load up a, uh, another game against the hardest AI in chess while they're playing you in chess. And you have to ask yourself why you're doing that, but they never ask themselves that question. It's just the dopamine feedback of winning. Um... PKing is a whole other game. I'm terrible at PKing in this game. I have no idea how to do it. Uh, don't trust anyone in the wilderness. That's true in real life. Anyone pretend to be a girl to get gear and get shit from people. Uh, I would never discourage people, but when I was growing up, I had two characters in World of Warcraft. One was a night elf rogue who was a man, and one was a night elf priestess who was a woman. Guess who got random gold given to them? <laughs> On which character? And I never complained about it. And you always had the smiley face afterwards. They would give you money, or they give you money, or help kill a mob, and then they would send you a smiley. On the off chance you're a girl, the off chance you're Mila Kunis playing with Macaulay Culkin. Um, I'm still a girl in this game. I've never changed back. I'm a weird, soulless-eyed girl. Ever since that, what was that? That was a night quest, like. Fucking so long ago. A year ago now. Lowest girl guy ratio of any MMO. <laughs> Probably makes sense. To be honest. I think girls are, are usually your MMO players. If uh, uh, I don't, I, I'm not going to speak for all girls out there. But there was... Um, I've talked about this before. The gateway into getting into video games. It was much more gate kept against women growing up than men and even with men it was gate kept because if you were if you were uh, a video game player when I grew up you were a nerd and if you were a, a black guy playing video games you were acting white which was like a weird thing that my black friends would have to deal with um, But it was excusable. And I think that's why like, there's a lot of black guys in uh, fighting games. Because it was excusable to play games if it was in an arcade. That was acceptable. But not at home on your console or on your PC. God forbid your PC. That would make you even nerdier. Um, and then it was very unladylike to play uh, video games when I was younger. It was just not even marketed to them, and I'm not sure if there was like any gay thing attached to it or being a nerd or something, but I, I knew girls would shame other girls for playing video games. Um, and the one thing that I always noticed that was exempt from that was MMOs. If a girl got into an MMO, it was seen as kind of normal, especially World of Warcraft. I just took a lot of damage. Um... And I don't really know why that was. Or if you played The Sims. The Sims or MMOs. Or what like girls were accepted as playing if they were going to play something. Or Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, when you're young, girls are not naturally drawn towards games because of biology. No, that's completely false. Um, I'm not even sure how the fuck you would begin to explain that one, Epimil. Making a girl character named Amelia, just getting in cash. Um, girls, if they're shit at games and they just play games to get dudes. Yep, that too. Um, the pick me girls, slut shaming has always been a thing. Games are conflict, conflict means danger, it means men deal with biology. Are games conflict? Games aren't always conflict. Was the original Donkey Kong conflict? Or Pac Man? Girls play OSRS. Questions I get asked is the RuneScape player of almost 15 years. Have you got tired of it yet? I have. Yep. When do you keep playing it then? Because there's nothing else. It's a weird addiction. You must be really good then. Nope. Yep. That wasn't very funny. Um, all the tycoons. I was talking to my, one of my lady friends about OSRS recently. She said she would totally scam people out of items gold when she plays PS1 and girlfriend. She'd do it. They'd give her stuff and leave afterwards. I had to get stuff. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Uh, describe the, all the biologically manly aspects of Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's subtle, not always a fighting conflict. You're talking about like fight or flight responses? You think that women are biologically designed to flee more than men? I believe is what you're saying? You might be right about that. I'm not really familiar with how Cro-Magnums dealt with video games. Think them. We're all potheads here. It can never be mean to people I bet I could if I want to, yeah. I know I know a lot of girls that love conflicting with things. Girls not playing games is more aligned to nature and human evolution. I don't uh, I would say that I don't fully believe that women are genetically predisposed to not wanting to fight and to be the subservient role when conflict arises. But I have no way to disprove that. It is a troll. Epimil's being a little bit bad right now, but... Not m always, but mostly. I'm trying to think of a way to disprove it, and I can't. But I know I can if I looked at it. I bet you there's Cro-Magnum women that were constantly fighting. I guess there is such a thing as an average. Like, you can probably basically say the average man is, is really into fighting, right? Or not really into fighting, but the average man is usually, you know, all hyped up because they got the testosterone and shit like that. Oh, bad appearance chat. You gotta look inwards then, Epimil. Female! You mind he's counting, Chuck? Shut up. You guys are being a little bit sexist right now. They're laughing at a football player with a weird head. Um, that's literally why. Yeah, maybe. 59,000. Um, usually, whenever I get a I'm banned story, I always hear one side of the reason why they're banned. And then when I talk to someone about it, it's always worse, but whatever. Um... These sexist questions. Is it, no, there is historical tribes of warrior women and shit, and we were talking about the warrior queen, how that's all based in weird shit. But it, I think it's there's a, a pretty big alignment between people who think that women are passive and uh, people who think that women were never fighters growing up. They'd, they'd view like a fantasy thing where a woman would stab a guy successfully and beat him in a fight. Or overpower them and they'd be like oh that would never happen in real life when that happens all the time um, women can get pretty big and they can also get pretty nasty uh, when a brawl happens obviously men are genetically bigger than women on average but that doesn't mean that there aren't genetically big women and it also doesn't mean that women aren't disposed to fight but you also have to look at the average and yeah probably average woman doesn't like to fight a lot. I think the average guy doesn't like to fight a lot either. And I think that if we hang our hat on what we were when we came from Homo sapiens, or we went into Homo sapiens from Neanderthals, or where the hell we came from, monkeys, basically, is a weird thing to talk about now, thousands of years later, when it's about video games. I think it's much more likely that if you put a whole group of children into a room... Uh, with video games, they're all going to play the video game, and they're all going to enjoy it because it's entertainment. It's dopamine fixes. Um, uh, the uh, uh, My mom. Um, now, you say it depends on its multiplayer, and I know a lot of competitive women in multiplayer. And it's not the example. I, I guarantee you there's probably a lot that don't play competitive, but I know a lot of guys that don't play competitive either because they don't like it. Um, 
I think that there are whole swaths of women's sports that would disprove that theory right away that women don't like being competitive. Um, highly populated women's sports, too. The, uh, can't teabag. Um, the kids are playing in the room. I'm saying if, uh, if you have a, a room full of kids and a room full of consoles, every kid is going to play a video game. Most likely. They're all going to be somewhat attracted to it. Um, it's a dopamine fix more so than anything else. It's flashing colors, shiny lights, and you get good stuff from it. And it tests you, too. Not everyone likes being tested, which is why we see a lot of shitty games come to the top. But those games are usually the most populated games, too. Not always, but usually. Well, the Warcraft is not a very uh, competitive game, but people play it constantly. The, uh, yeah, like that, to not being just people disposed to that. Um, the, uh, I, I think it's way, way, way more likely that girls don't play video games because it, it just wasn't marketed to them back then. It really wasn't. Even board games were never marketed towards girls. Chess was never marketed towards girls. This is something that you grew up with in a, in a society that's largely run by men. You can't really act like CEOs and, and uh, politicians aren't mostly men. They are. If most of the CEOs are men and most of them are in charge of marketing, don't you think that most of them would be viewing things from a man-centric point of view and, and sort of guiding things to be a certain way. And I think that there are far more girls that play video games now than when I was younger, not just from a population thing, um, that are learning and having fun and playing different games at a younger age because it's no longer seen as a, as a pick-me thing or nerdy or um, any of that stuff. So, good in depth. Either way, I think uh, the differences between men and women usually disappear when needs are met. When you're Cro-Magnum era, era and you have to go hunt and kill in order to get food and eat gatherers and shit like that. Yeah, chances are that matters, but like we live in 2023. We don't have to do that anymore. And I, I, don't, I don't think it's outside the realm of imagination to think that people's brains have evolved in the last couple thousands of years. Even the last couple hundreds of years, or even despite evolution, people still act a certain way when exposed to uh, uh, what is definitely not predicted by evolution. You ever see those animals in the forest when they come across a mirror and how they freak out? You think that they're used to that? That's technology that evolution planned for? Evolution planned for video games? And how people interact with it? Yeah, those are a mix of genders for his best fit for the job, really. Mirror is technology. Has did the bear come up with a mirror? Do, do you think that there's a reason why whenever you put a mirror out in the jungle, the big cats go by and they get freaked out when they see it? Apes start playing with it and shit like that? It is a... Oh, Carol's fucking me up here. Is an abnormal thing. Something evolution didn't plan for. Yeah, I go for a sandwich too. I'm not gonna do the mukbang today if Semi's still here. Yeah, I wonder how animals deal with water reflections. If it gets them scared or something like that. I have no idea how that works. And you gotta admit, the water reflection's way different than a full on mirror. You figured that out earlier, yeah. Maybe tomorrow during the main channel stream, we can do that. We order it at like 2 o'clock and then we eat while Lal plays on the main channel. 
Do animals not know the difference? I actually wonder if animals don't know the difference. Right? As a form of technology, the term technology is broad. Yep. It's, uh... Only the press your real life. If you're around, we could try that. Stream in a suit. Um, that might be something fun. I am a little strange. But, point is... Uh, I know myself, I don't really stick to gender roles, and I know a lot of uh, girls out there that never did, and I know a lot of people that don't even think about it. It's not even something that pops up in your brain, it's just something that you do. I don't think that there's a lot of, uh, no context, I don't think there's a lot of girls out there that, um, well, it's not even non-binary, it's like gender itself is a is a invented thing, right? It's a society telling you that's how you're supposed to act. Um... weird devotion to evolution which is always odd to me that people are so up in arms over doing things how we did when we were back when we were monkeys it's like you watch a silverback run around eating other apes faces off and you're like yeah we should be like that don't use our human brains to contextualize shit um well skirts on men are already normalized they're called kilts but i'm talking more not along the lines of how you dress but how you act right do you cook do you clean? Do you uh, uh, cry? Do you uh, try to be brave? Do you uh, are you a mean person? Do you command the room when people talk? Um, in people's faces, no bearing on our modern society. Uh, if you call yourself a man, you can cook even if it's basic. I think Dalton's proof that evolution is no bear. Well, that's the thing. It's like, what do you call a man and what do you call a woman? What epitomizes it? Uh, what's the pure definition of it? And even if you do have a pure definition, do you really care about it? What's the point in sticking to a, def a definition? You know? Yeah, caveman with the ruined ass. I'd, I'd be long dead if I was a caveman. This is... Um, uh, So it's less about being non-binary, it's more just like, do shit that you like and stop thinking about it so much. If you think that you're not acting right, like, okay. like the, the things that I view more of, uh, of strict evolutionary rules is like, don't eat each other, don't kill each other, uh, don't fuck an animal, those are things that you don't, you don't do. Those feel like laws of the universe. Pretty simple. <laughs> Absolute monster. Yeah, killing is 100%, but is it, it, is it needed? Can you use your brain to, to stop doing that? Killing is the result of... Either not wanting to deal with or trying to instill things that are parts of life. Comes in many different shapes and forms. You got the angler hat. Too simplified. Either way, I think that most people, if you put them in a vacuum, they're going to do things that makes sense from their point of view and what most people like is to be fed to sleep to be clean or expel their bodily fluids in some place that isn't near the other, the other two things i listed um and uh to be entertained vacuums are dangerous yep look pug 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 um And if those needs are met, then they act like however they want to act, you know? Yeah, other humans, we're very social, we're herd animals. Is it abyssal? Whenever I vacuum, yep. Animals are pretty dumb. That's the thing about humans. We, we evolutionized their brain in order to realize that all of our evolution is kind of weird. For anything else on average. I could believe that. I think it's much more likely that you run into an extrovert than an introvert. I think introverts seem more popul populous than they are. Populated. Um, 
simply because we're online and if you're online you have a lot more uh interaction with people who are online too more likely the average person wants to hang out with other people be around other people and a lot of people get very sad and they act out when they don't have that and you can see that online too they become bitter they say mean things they become obsessed with superiority shit and i don't know you get like the weird incels and the magas and the discord mods those are all lack of human interaction i also think i see that a lot with guys who declare their loves for girls their loves um i think guys or girls who usually have partners declare their love for a guy or girl uh a lot less and then when they don't have it if any if anything from the, the who they're attracted to shows them any attention they declare their love immediately you see that a lot with like teenagers and shit like that the first girlfriend um because it's like a feeling of uh you, you you don't have enough experience not like experience you're not experiencing it enough that it becomes amplified when you do experience it it becomes something you dwell on something you you worry about a lot you know Humans need danger advance. Internet, for example, is military communication first. It's chaos slowly turning into order. Exactly killing. This reminds me of something Socrates says. Socrates nuts. <laughs> On the loves, I'm in the love of the females. Iron Man's pretty cool. It's important to find a mate early according to evolution. The most fertile years for that joke. Thank you for giving one the pike plays. Um, venerator showered off a phantom muspa. I've still not done the phantom muspa quest. I don't even think that's listed in the, the quest helper over here yet. Um, seven mil drop, very nice true gnosis. Uh, that fan of Musp is such good catch if, catch if you can do it, and you can do it with really shitty gear too. I was watching the guy kill with uh, black D hide, he was 99 flat or 99 archery still, but whatever. Um, you just need sapphire bolts and ruby bolts, ruby bolts for most of the kill, sapphire when he goes into his phantom stage, and then you just have to be good at dodging shit. Um, you wanted to be the 321 sub. Um, I appreciate it, Sean. Uh, yeah, I'm off too. I'm, I'm about to be done here. Uh, Finster speaking of gender roles. I know Finster. Finster, or I don't think Finster was, um, the inspiration though. It was somebody else. I forgot their name. 322 will have to do. It was 322. That's actually a good number too. That's the Dota number. Um, there's some other, I forgot the fuck their name is, that does the, uh, cross-dressing. That was the, would inspire the cross-dressing here. Um, yeah, Fence is kind of hot. Not really that into that, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Things are changing now. Um, uh, in these days, uh, that's like a good example. Evolutionary speaking, you probably don't dress up as a girl to make money, but I don't think evolution planned for that. Um, you just never have to really worry about evolution ever. You know, who the fuck cares what evolution says? Your brain is big enough that you can go against evolution. Imagine if evolution worked like that. It was like, oh, I shouldn't drink this alcohol because it gives me food it gives me poisoning my my but i have to because evolution told me that i have to and then you just you can't help it you're like grabbing it it's like an important evolution evolution is not always in control that's the neat thing about it we're like evolving past it um what else was gonna say before i left off i would reevaluate how you think epimel is all i'm saying that is uh uh borderline you know the bad thoughts the bad thoughts that make you have no one want to talk to you um yeah and evolution changes constantly and you know we're evolved to be in the fucking water so who knows um i don't think you're defending evolution though i don't think you have a, a full uh uh grasp on what evolution is i think you're thinking more in like a hunter gathering men strong women weak type of deal instead of what actually evolution is which is adapting to environment um 
addition is a success, it mostly fails as a trait. I think that successful traits now is, uh, is, is knocking down gender roles. You're probably a lot more successful if you're a girl and you're really competitive and you're kicking ass at a game. And I, I guarantee you guys will be attracted to that. That's like uh, kind of how mating works. Anyways, um, thank you very much, Say, for watching you guys. This was kind of a, a nothing day. I woke up late. Um, fools all, but, but that evolution goes against what you're saying. Anyways, um, thank you, Sean, for the, the sub. Uh, Ekid, get the one the Pike plays. Semi, get the one the chat GPT. Uh, Ebrarian, get the one the Ice Spice. And Gobsneck and Emily, all Ebrarian gifts. T Earl TJ for the $5. The Cold for 5 bucks. Sing This HS for 100 bits. The Cold for 25 Timid for 6 months. Ekid for 25 GTech for 1250 Misenus for 25 months. I thank you guys as always. Um, I am going to be streaming Dwarf Fortress earlier tomorrow. And uh, I think God exists. I just don't know fully. I don't think anyone knows fully. Um, thank you for giving one that, Bill. Um, I'm going to be streaming Dwarf Fortress early tomorrow, but at 3 o'clock we're going on to the main channel. So you guys, Pokemon DF mod, um, you guys have fun, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.